Hello, welcome once again. Today we want to find the value of x and y. Given that you have 3 raised to the power x plus y minus 3 raised to the power x equals 78. So guys, let's have it to be solution. Now from here we have... From here we have 3 raised to the power x plus y minus 3 raised to the power x equals 78. So now guys, we have to recall when you have a raised to the power m plus n. This always equals when you have a raised to the power m dot when you have a raised to the power n. So by applying this here, then we are going to have 3 raised to the power x dot 3 raised to the power y minus 3 raised to the power x equals 78. So guys, obviously we have 3 raised to the power x here, 3 raised to the power x. So we can factor it out to be 3 raised to the power x, then into 3 raised to the power s dot 3 raised to the power y divided by this. Then we are going to have 3 raised to the power y minus 3 raised to the power x divided by this. We have it to be 1. Then we have everything to be equals 78. Now, guys, let us check all the factors of 78 we can have 78 to be equals 2 times 3 times what 13 these are the prime factors of 78 and from here the only solution for x here because we have tiggy to be in what to raise to power x and we can only have this to be 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by this we have it to be 26 such that we are going to get the value of x because this one also being base 3 and so therefore guys from here we can have this to be 3 raised to power x into 3 raised to power y minus 1 equals 3 multiplied by 26 so we can easily equate this to be like this as 3 raised to the power x equals 3 raised to the power 1. And obviously we have our x to be equals 1. Because mere looking at this, it is believed that we have 3 raised to the power y minus 1. The moment we, when we the moment when we equate 3 raised to the power y minus 1 to be equals 26. So here will be 3 raised to the power y equals 27. And again, we are going to have 27 to be in base 3 in order to get the value of y. So to get the, to get the value of x here, we have base 3 here, this one also in base 3. So, and that is why we go along with this. We cannot go along with 2 multiplied by 3 that will give us 6, then multiply by 26. No. This one, I'm, this one I'm saying, we cannot go along with 6 multiplied by 26. This is wrong. So therefore, we have 3 raised to the power y minus 1 equals 26. And we have 3 raised to the power y to be equals 26 plus 1 equals 27. So from here, we have 3 raised to the power y equals 3 raised to the power 3 to be in base 27 base 3. We have our y to be equals 3. So therefore, guys, we have x to be equals 1, then y to be equals 3. Is there another solution? No. Though we want to consider the real solution. In the case of using negative value or considering the negative values, then we can have a complex solution as well. Now to check We have 3 raised to the power x plus y minus 3 raised to the power x equals 78. Now, from here we have 3 raised to the power, our x is equal to 1, then y equal to this one. This one plus this one, we have 3 raised to the power 4 minus 3 raised to the power x equals 1, we have 3 raised to the power 1 equals 3. Then are they going to give us 78? 3 raised to the power 4 equals what? 81 minus 3. Are they going to give us 78? 
So from here we have 78 equals 78. So if you're new here, once again, don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye-bye.